In this video, I'm going to show how to open a Lightning channel using the Electrum mobile wallet. The first thing you'll need to do before you can open a channel is fund the wallet with native Bitcoin. So you'll want to send Bitcoin to your Electrum wallet on chain, the main address. As you can see here, I have 0 0.0008 Bitcoin on chain and zero in Lightning. And if you click this description here, It'll show the amount on chain versus lightning. All of it is on chain, none of it is on lightning yet. But if you click here at the bottom, open channel with the lightning icon, there you'll be able to open a channel. You can select a node. All of these nodes are well connected. You can select any of the three. Um, they'll all be slightly connected differently with different paths. If you wanna learn more about how the lightning network works, I'll leave a tutorial link in the description below, but yes, uh, there's three, I'd assume mostly for redundancy. You can select any of them and then select the amount you would like to open the channel with either in BTC or US dollar terms. And once you do that, you would just click open channel and then we don't actually have enough in this wallet to fully open a channel. There's a minimum amount required, I believe 200,000 Satoshis, which is equal to about 80 US dollars at the current time. But as you can see, we'll click open channel. It'll give us an error saying that we don't actually have enough. We have 45,000 sats. We need 200,000, which again is equal to about $80. Um, so, but what I can do is I can switch to a wallet where I already have a Lightning channel funded, and you can see how that works as an example. So here I will go to other wallets, go to my default wallet. And as you can see here, I currently have um, $79 worth of funds in the Lightning channel and nothing actually on chain. So I can't open a channel because it's already fully open. What I can do is go back to the main page and to send a lightning transaction or to pay a lightning invoice at this point, you simply click send or to receive, you would click receive and create a request. And that is basically how you use the lightning network on the Electrum mobile wallet. And for the record, if you don't think it's that simple, it's really not the most user-friendly wallet. There are newer options that are continuing to make the experience more user-friendly and intuitive. One of those is Aqua Wallet, which was just recently re released a couple days ago, and I just did a review on it. You can look for that. And um, yeah, that makes the entire Lightning to, well, makes the entire experience from native Bitcoin to Lightning and back much more user-friendly simple and seamless. So I suggest you uh, check that out also and compare the two and see which one feels more right for you. But that one does seem a little more user-friendly. It's even marketed as a Bitcoin wallet for your grandma. That's how intuitive it is. So I hope you enjoyed the review. Thank you.